Hello YouTubers and welcome to the tutorial of MS OneNote. What is MS OneNote? By the way, you may be thinking that. So MS OneNote is nothing but something like your own diary. Not a computer diary like you actually see, not like MS Word. It's something different. It's something like your real diary. Real diary where you can write anything anywhere. Where you can color pictures and paste it. It's just like a computer. It's just like the replica of your diary. It's just like a computer diary, but not like the traditional computer diaries. But this one is authentic. Let's take a look at why. First, to open OneNote, first of all, what you need to do is go to the start start thing start tab to open that's the first thing you need to do just click on the start click it and then if you have a search bar then it's very simple microsoft onenote or just simply type onenote but i'll show you the longer way since this is the easier way searching i'll show you the longer way most of the old versions will have this go to all programs and then search for Microsoft Office. Here we have Microsoft Office. Click on that and then choose Microsoft Office OneNote. My version is 2007. Your version can be anything. So this is the basics. Getting started with OneNote. This is the basic of OneNote where you can learn things yourself. So you may be thinking, like if I were here to show you this, then why haven't I made this video at all? If everything about OneNote is here, then why I am taking this tutorial? The simple reason is uh, videos are much attractive than these things. So, so I have not seen all of them, but how much ever I have seen, I just take you through that. And at the end, let's take a look at what uh, I don't know from this and what I can learn. Before that, let's just go to cool, more cool features. These are a lot of features. Uh, I was just starting about uh, getting started with OneNote. Okay, so before that, the main categories here would include OneNote 2007 guide, personal notebook, and work notebook. The trip to Jammu is just like that. I just added to show you that you can even add your own things. There's nothing inside it, of course, but I just recently added this when I thought I'll make a tutorial. So this one is a simple guide, OneNote 2007 guide. Now what's personal notebook? It's personal information about shopping, the second section, books, movies, and music, travel, recipes, to do, miscellaneous. And new section is what you, I have added myself, so then you can do that. So let's take a look at personal notebook. Under personal notebook, we have various things like this. What are these? Before going to that, let me tell you what the things that I explained to you earlier were. These are the various notebooks. During going to school, you carry a heavy or light backpack. Inside the backpack, you have various notes, notebooks, right? The same way, you in your computer, in OneNote, you carry some books like Trip to Jammu, OneNote 2007 Guide, Personal Notebook, Work Notebook. Uh, except a uh, trip to Jammu, everything is authentic and everything is like present already, pre-made, delivered to you. Okay. okay, so inside the notebook, you have these sections. Like basic sections that you can make are classwork and homework. But here we have various number of sections over here. The personal information section is here. Store personal information in this section. So it just gives you what you can store website choose account websites you like website account usernames like for example you have a gmail account yeah yahoo account you have this account that account and this just makes it a lot difficult for you to manage so just write the accounts at least because if you think you want a password just think twice before doing that first thing is that they really want to put your password there and don't store it in your mind the second thing is whether you are the only person who is using this laptop, computer, tablet or whatsoever. 
or is there any one other person doing that too confirmation numbers we can fire numbers bank accounts and other financial information so it is highly recommended that you password protect this section why is it necessary for password protecting section i'll be just coming to that over a minute important note will be that if you should not per forget your password not in this computer i suppose in some other computer i think uh, i had just put a password and i forgot the password i searched a lot in net how to recover the password but i couldn't so my just simplest tip to you will be never per forget your password now along with that there are different see there are different sections over here and the different sections you have different pages for example you have classwork section in your home book under classwork section you have one page for introduction one page for each lesson or something like that so these are the pages this is store personal information and then it's financial information you just have given the template you can just follow the template over there then credit card accounts frequent flyer accounts website accounts and medical information this was all the boring part that i would have explained to you now the same base there are given some hints all over just few minutes and then comes the interesting part here they have given some examples and tips examples and tips examples and trips recipes okay so travel you can just like have lots of information over there new section this one i just know what i did i'll tell you this a minute later okay so this is a new section before going to that let's get started with how you can use one note to change your world first of all you if you want you can add a group of sections or a single section this is a single section and few of them together form a group of sections now take your mouse or cursor whatever you call it put a right click uh, if you're sitting facing the computer and then select new section or new section group first of all I'll show you a new section and then I'll come to the new section group here is a new section you can just name it something you don't want to name it now you can surely rename it later how to rename it just double click over there and just like I'm just typing here tutorial but you can type anything okay so the best part of non -non just comes down now what do you think how we can write in one note okay i'll write here something like tutorial again this is the name of your page just see here this is the name of your book i mean the section and this is the name of your page tutorial one okay that is one 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 i'll name it something like that and the page name is tutorial okay so the best part comes here now now what do you think you can type it the answer is you can type anywhere you want really anywhere you want just see you can just type it here 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 here, here, here. okay you could uh, you must have been thinking that uh, you could just type till here right but it's not like that just move your cursor down down okay so i'm just going to start something here g space g enter g enter g enter g As you can see you can just go on anywhere don't like this space you want to shift it somewhere just take the cursor to this and just see that plus thing come there just drag it and wait a minute drag it and drop it anywhere you like isn't that amazing you can write anywhere just like a normal diary where you can write anything with pen here you can type anything anywhere not just typing any word words or something and just typing whatever comes to my hand you just see that you just write whatever you want and just you are just like your friend you're talking with a friend he is she or she I mean, agenda gives you some notes and you just make the writer first and you're really good fast writer or else you don't have time to just write it properly you're just typing it somewhere okay now you've got time and then you can just simply when you have got time you can simply adjust it according to your need okay isn't that amazing isn't that fun isn't that easy that's the important thing isn't that easy okay so just like that and be calm be confident and it's not a big thing to learn this it's simplest thing and even you can move it there 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 
So it's an endless page. That's the most interesting part of it. It is the endless page where you can write it somewhere. It has much more advantage than a normal diary which we write. Now, if you don't like this sometime else, you can just move it anywhere and there is no barrier of space in one page you can write a whole thing a whole big thing like what it's your wish you can write whatever you want so this was just a small bit of it now if we here i'll show you tasks and tags these two are very good features this tags is good for to-do list and tasks i'll show you a bit later now okay if you want i'll just show it now task it needs outlook so i won't be covering it now because i don't have an outlook account so i can't show it all to you now these are the tasks like sometimes if you mark something that is important you can just use this important tag or control two okay so go over here somewhere okay here and then put the tag to do the if it is to do let's see if this is to do okay so if it's to do you can use this if it's some um, okay you can write anywhere right that's amazing important information just go front use do this drag down option and put the stack you can even use the shortcuts if you have big umbrellas with that 